Okay, so if there is perplexity, then why there's the need of proxy AI agent? Well, certainly that's one question that a lot of people ask, especially when proxy just emerged about two months ago. And I also have the same question, and as someone that has access to both perplexity and proxy, I think I have the answer for that question. Now, the reason people are asking this question is in part because proxy also can do the job of perplexity. So these two platforms are a bit similar, and I think uh, that's, uh, that's the reason why people are asking this kind of question. And also, not to mention, many demo videos on YouTube are not really utilizing uh, an AI prompt that is catered towards AI agent. A lot of times they're using a simple prompt that can also be used on perplexity or even chat GPT. So in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between perplexity and AI agent like proxy. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand uh, the major differences between these two platforms and whether or not you should be using perplexity or proxy when doing a certain task. So let me give you a few examples. This is a simple query on perplexity. I'm just asking perplexity to search the latest price of Tesla Model 3. And according to the research done by perplexity, uh, it says that the price ranges between 42,000 to 54,000 US dollar. That's the price of this car. But I can also use the same prompting on proxy AI agent and it, it does the research. It, uh, you know, it reads a lot of pages. It reads the uh, official page of Tesla and it gave me this answer. The price ranges between 44,000 to 56,000. It's a bit different. So I think it's still somewhat correct. And this is something that you can do in proxy you can use AI agent to do that but this is not efficient this is not the best use case for AI agent and if you just want to know a simple text-based info then just use regular or traditional AI models like GPT, cloud uh, perplexity etc AI agent is kind of overkill for that now let's move on to another example uh, this one I asked perplexity to find a blog post that talks about Tesla Model 3 and I want the blog post to have at least 10 images and unfortunately perplexity is unable to give me the blog post it gives me some links but I have checked post links and none of them have 10 images so uh, that's because perplexity can only read text it cannot see images it cannot see the structure of the website that it visit so it is different than AI agent AI agent on the on the other hand can see the structure of the website it can read text it can see images it can count the number of images on the website it see the elements on the website and it gave me this answer that uh, this blog apparently it says has 10 images in it I actually have done the, the counting and it wasn't quite 10 images it only has like seven and i think the reason why it tell me that it has 10 images is because perhaps it is counting these images to be part of the blog post which i think fair but you know it's still still very close and uh i think that's one capability that ai agent can do however perplexity or even chat GPT cannot do that it can it can read text but it cannot see images now let me give you another example so this is a youtube video i asked perplexity to go to this video and then tell me how many audio tracks in this video so in case you're wondering this is a video from mr beast and i was asking how many audio, audio tracks from this video and according to youtube you can see that it has 26 audio tracks now if you're asking that kind of question to perplexity it won't be able to answer that it cannot see or it cannot see their or count the audio tracks on the video it is just not possible again perplexity can only read text on the internet like it can understand the text like the title the description etc anything that is text perplexity can index that but AI agent can see more than text so I asked uh, the same question to proxy and it gave me this answer there are 26 distinct audio tracks and that is correct it knows it because it visit the page just like a real human using a computer uh, it click on this menu the uh, gear icon menu and then it saw that well there are 26 tracks in this video so 
it has that level of interaction which something that perplexity cannot do. Okay, let me give you another example about why proxy and perplexity are different. So this one is unique. I asked perplexity to describe the image from this page and uh, this is the page. There is a orange Tesla, but of course, perplexity can only see text. It cannot describe any image from that page, even though it can visit the page, but it can only see the text. However, proxy agent has no problem. It says there is a prominent feature, uh, sorry, prominently features a subway truck, and there is this catch eye-catching orange color, which is correct because it can visit the page. And again, perplexity cannot do that. So to sum everything up, the differences are, I think there are two differences. So perplexity can only read text while proxy can see the text. Uh, it can see the image. It can see basically the structure of the website. It can see everything just like when you are visiting a website. And uh, another thing that you need to know is that perplexity cannot click anything. It cannot click a button. It cannot click on a link on a website. But AI agent, as I show you earlier, can easily do that. It can click uh, some elements on the website just like human. So uh, I hope this video clear things up about the differences between traditional large language models like Perplexity or ChatGPT or Gemini to AI agent like Proxy. So if you have a task that involving interaction or if you want to see the whole website, then use AI agent like Proxy. But if you just want to get a quick answer, especially text-based answer, then just use regular AIs like Perplexity. So anyway, uh, that's basically everything that I want to tell you in this video. And if you like my explanation, then feel free to subscribe to this channel because I'm planning to make more videos about perplexity and of course, proxy AI agent in the future. So in, anyway, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching until the end and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.